now at least, more than a couple months really, but still incredibly competitive with the top tier devices coming out like the HTC One X, Lumia 900, still very, very competitive. So without any further ado, let's jump right into this versus video talking all about if you should buy either of these, which one you should buy, and much more. So can for Titania, here we go. So in this video, we're not going to be talking a lot about things like how the back is or how the volume rocker is or really those kind of niche detail things more about just overarching which phone is better and if there really is a better or worse one or if it's more of a unique answer so we're going to start off by talking about the nexus the nexus is still a really really good phone it has stock ice cream sandwich which in my opinion is definitely a better user experience than that of any skinned version it feels better and it just looks better Ice Cream Sandwich is just beautiful looking in comparison to TouchWiz, which kind of just looks childish. And, you know, it's better than it used to be, but it's still just, look at how nice stock Ice Cream Sandwich looks. It just looks very minimalistic, very modern, and I really just like the way it looks. And I feel like the hardware of the device also matches that. Just looking at the Nexus here, it has that nice curved look. It has this nice little hump on the back for kind of putting your fingers there and you're holding it. It has just this nice, clean, monolithic front. There's no buttons on it, so it just looks very nice. I really like the way the Nexus looks. I really like the way that the software accents that look and just makes it look really nice. So in my opinion, one of the big advantages of the Nexus is that it looks really nice with stock ice cream sandwich. And another advantage of it is because it's a Nexus, it's always going to have the software updates right away. This still doesn't have ice cream sandwich. This has had ice cream sandwich for months. And when Jelly Bean comes out, it's going to have it. This is going to be waiting, if it ever even gets it. So definitely one of the big, big advantages of the Nexus is that you have that constant Google experience and that it always looks really good and it doesn't have any junkware on top. Whereas you have junkware here, like Samsung All Share, and you have this kind of, like just all these excess apps, like Samsung App and Samsung Hub and just all that junk on the Nexus you have no excess stuff and you have a very strong developer community meaning that there's always extra ROMs and that sort of thing. So that's where the Nexus really comes out on top. It is also just an overall very well designed, very good phone. Not really excelling at anything but giving you a very rounded experience being good at everything in its own right. So let's talk about where the Note is better than the Nexus. The best where, like the thing where it's really better is in my opinion the screen. It's bigger it is brighter. If we load up some web browsers here, you should be able to see. It's bigger. It's brighter. It just looks a lot, a lot better in my opinion. Let's just load up this page here. And we'll get a little bit into some geeky stuff in a second, explaining some of that. So you can look at the screens there. And I'm going to talk a bit about the screens. So on the Nexus, you have a pen tile display. That means the sub-pixels that make up the pixels share. They share their pixels with their friends. Whereas on the Note, it is an RGB layout, so there's no sharing going around, which means that the pixels on this like look better. So you have a resolution of 800 by 12, 1280, 1280 up and down by 800 across, whereas on this it's 720 across by 1280 up and down. Higher pixel density, but because there is the pen tile layout here with the sharing of the pixels at the sub-pixel level, you end up with a better experience on the Note, in my opinion. You can really see that the screen here is whiter looking. It's very white looking and the colors are very saturated and clear. Whereas on the Nexus, it's a bit gray and sometimes the colors don't look as good. So I'm really nitpicking in terms of screens here. They're both really good, but I think the Note screen is even better. Other advantages the Note has is definitely better camera. So let's just look at both these pictures, both taken on their respective devices of the same object. There, you can see the Nexus camera. This is undersaturated. I was there. I saw it. And the desk is more yellow. Look at how much better this picture is here. You can see the detail better. It's nicer. Whereas on the Nexus, it's just undersaturated. It looks a little bit fuzzy and gray. So really just not nearly as good. So you have a better camera on the Note also. You also have some of the cool S Pen stuff that Samsung's been touting as you can see here, and responsiveness has been improved with the new update. And that brings us to another thing that the update improved, which is battery life. This already has a really big battery, 2,500 milliamp hours in comparison to 1,750 over here. 
this battery lasts for a really long time and the new update makes battery life even better. So, good battery life, not as good battery life, still good. Another good thing I like about it is, as you can see on the Nexus, it's monolithic, there's nothing on the front, but I like having this button. That's only on the European note, but I like being able to take the phone out of my pocket and tap that button to open it up instead of having to press on the side. You can also see they've improved the lock screen there. So you're probably wondering, you know, I'm pretty much nitpicking here. There's not a really big difference. In my opinion, the Nexus is still a better phone. I've highlighted a lot of the reasons why the Note is really good, but the Nexus is still better. The Note is still way too big. It's unwieldily large. Like, just look at it. It's too big. Too big of a phone. The Nexus fits far better in the hand with its nice curved design. So in my opinion, I still like the Nexus better. It's going to have software updates come faster. It's going to be a nicer overall experience. The phone fits in your hand without like breaking your hand. Look at the disparity there between Android versions. This is way ahead. This has got Ice Cream Sandwich. This is still on gingerbread. This phone's been out for a long time. Ice Cream Sandwich is nothing new now. We really need to be getting to our Ice Cream Sandwich updates, and we're still waiting on the Note. So that's one of the reasons why the Nexus is a really nice way to go. You're always going to have those updates. When you go to Jelly Bean next year, or we're going to have those updates coming away, coming out right away for the Nexus, whereas in the Note, we may even never even get it. So to sum up my comparison of these two devices, the Nexus is the better overall phone. Most people should go out and buy the Nexus. This is not including new devices coming out like the Lumia 900, One X. I'll talk about that later. Right now, as of this day and what I've used, Nexus is the best smartphone out there. The Note is really good and it has its niche. If you want to use the S Pen, if you want to take notes on your phone, immediately the Note's won you over. If you're a really big camera person and you like sharing those photos on a really big screen, now, now you have a really good reason to buy the Note. If you don't mind waiting for ice cream sandwich and you want to have that bigger, better, brighter screen, here's another reason to get the Note. The Note is good and the Nexus is good. The Nexus is better, but the Note has its niches. And those are the ones I've highlighted, and there are other ones, so I definitely do, do your research on what phone you want to get. And do your research on where the Note may excel. But still, in my opinion, the Nexus is the better Android smartphone. Camper Tectanian doing a Versus of the Galaxy Nexus.